So I'm back. Uh, this is my continuing series on Python for Physicists. Uh, and I'm still working on the spring. I've done a bunch of things with the springs. Just let me emphasize what's going on here. I am showing very basic uh, Python stuff using GlowScript v Python uh, for physicists to implement in their class or for physics students to learn physics and Python at the same time. That's, that's my general audience. I've started off with numerical calculations using the Euler method. Uh, I've done projectile motion, orbits, uh, the whole playlist I'll link down below. Uh, follow along because it's all awesome, I think, but I have a high opinion of myself. Uh, and I've been working on a, on springs, mass on springs, which is my favorite thing ever. Uh, and, and this is a program that I've already made. Uh, so you can look in the, in the playlist and see where this, this whole thing comes from. Let me just run it. Uh, this is a mass oscillating on a spring and it makes everyone happy. So but what I want to do, I think is a great example uh, to show air resistance in the spring or damped, a damp, not air resistance, we'll do damped, uh, and make a graph of energy as, as a function of stuff. Okay, so we're gonna make a whole bunch of energy graphs uh, and it's gonna be great and I'm gonna have a good time and, and that's that. So I'm gonna modify this program, the code will be down below, but let's just get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make a graph. I'm gonna make, the first thing I wanna do is make a graph of kinetic energy, uh, pot spring potential energy, and gravitational potential energy, and total energy as a function of time, and plot that. So that's a, that's a bunch of graphs, and that's fine, we're gonna do it. So the first thing is, it, was this big enough? The first thing I'm gonna do is to make uh, a, a graph holder with my axes and stuff like that. So G1 is equal to uh, object type graph built into Python, you don't have to declare that. Uh, so it's a graph, and I'm just blanking out here for a second. The paper's bothering me. Uh, so I'm going to need to get an X title, let's say it's time for now, we'll change that. And then the Y title is going to be equal to energy in joules. <clears throat> One of the things I like to do is to put the set the width. So I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller than I normally do. Width equals, let's try 400, height equals 200 and and so what that's going to do is to make it when i run it you can see the whole graph you can leave it the way you want it it doesn't you don't have to put that in there now in order to make actual lines i need to create some uh some some graphs that to plot and so these are going to be called g-curve a g-curve has a whole bunch of dots data points connected by a curve that's what's called a g-curve uh so let's make the first one for kinetic energy i'll call it f k it's an object type G curve. I need to give it, I don't need to, I'm gonna give it a color. Color equals color dot red. I can also give it a label and we'll call it K. That's a L. I need uh, the gravitational potential energy. So let's call it F U G equals G curve. And what color is gravity? It's a trick question. The answer is green. Color equals color dot green. Uh, label equals UG, I'll just put it as UG. And then FUK, G curve, color equals color. What color is the spring potential energy? So I got red, let's do this as blue. Color equals color dot blue. And label equals UK. Uh, and then finally I have this the total energy FE equals G curve. I'm, I'm gonna leave it as black. I'm running out of colors that show up well. Red, green, and blue. Yeah, so let's just leave it as black. And let's put a label. If, if you don't put a color, it'll put it as black. Label equals E. That's fine. Okay, so I have four things to plot. Now down here in my function, I actually need to add in uh, what I'm gonna plot. I, you could probably do it before the T, but I'm gonna do it after. The first thing I'm gonna do is calculate the kinetic energy. So K is one half mv squared, but that's a scalar value. So I need the, the magnitude of the velocity squared, but I don't have velocity, I actually have momentum. So I'm gonna use P squared over two M. It's the same thing as kinetic energy. So I'm gonna take the magnitude of P, mag, uh, I'm gonna call this mass dot P squared, divided by two times M. And I just called it M, right, yep. So that's a kinetic energy. And the momentum is going to change, so the, so the kinetic energy is going to change. Uh, U G 
is going to be equal to uh, mgy. Okay, uh, so let's just let's just do it like that. I don't, I don't care where the, the origin is. I'm just going to say m times the magnitude of g, right? I can't use negative. I can't use g because g is a vector. Times uh, mass dot pos dot y. That's the y position. Uh, the spring potential energy uk is equal to one half times k times the stretch squared, s squared. So what is s? Well, s is this, if you go back and look at how I calculate the spring force, it's this mag L minus L zero. So I'm just gonna take mag L minus L zero and square that. And then E is just K plus UG plus UK. Now I'm going to plot all those things. So FK dot plot, its X coordinates is going to be time. Its Y coordinate is going to be the kinetic energy. FUG dot plot, TUG. FUK dot plot, T uk f e dot plot t e i think that should work but you never know you write this stuff you could lose a comma or something like that no, anything could happen see something happened two mag mass dot p squared oh divided by see i told you something bad was going to happen but I can fix it. Okay, so there's my mass, it's, it's moving, and there's my graph. Excellent. So a couple things to notice here. Uh, the energy is not constant. That's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Um, the energy oscillates. And, but it's fairly constant, but it's not. Let's just see if I, in, if I decrease the time step and increase that if that fixes it. Okay, now we're better. Uh, so here the total energy is constant. That's pretty cool. Uh, the It does wiggle a little bit, that's fine. Uh, potential, everything's cool. Now, but time and energy don't really go together. Uh, this is good to show that the energy is conserved, um, but I, I, it'd probably be better to do uh, position versus energy, energy versus position. We can do that. So I'll, I'm just going to go up here to my graph. I'm going to call this Y in meters. And then down here, that's pretty easy to change. I just change instead of T, I'm just going to do mass.pos.y, mass.pos.y mass.pos you got to actually say it when you're typing if you're not saying this and you're not a real programmer mass.pos.y now let's plot that and it it looks dumb because it keeps going back over itself but that is important we can actually uh, kind of make this better uh, if i do up here when i make my graph let's just do it this one i think it's marker equals true. Let's just put it on just that one, see what happens. No, it didn't like that. Maybe it's dot equals true. Yeah. And then that shows you the current value of it. So it does oscillate back and forth and it shows you the energy oscillating back and forth. I could put that on all these. I think that's kind of cool. Dot equals true doesn't matter which order you put these in dot equals true dot equals true okay I like that now I did say what if there's some drag force or some dampening force so let's put a dampening force in here you know in fact uh, we could put a driving force in here too, and I will add, save that for later. The dampening force is pretty easy. Let's just say it's some constant C times momentum, which it should be turned times the velocity, but the mass is constant, so I'm just gonna make it, I just wanna make it damped. So up here, 
I'm going to say some constant. Let's say uh, I'm picking something. I have no idea what the value should be. I'm going to say c equals 0.1. Down here in my calculation, I have the spring force, uh, the gravity, and I'm just going to say minus c times mass dot p. So there, when the mass is at rest, when the velocity is zero, there's no drag force. Uh, but if it's moving up, the drag force is going to be down. If it's moving down, the drag force is going to be up. So let's see what this looks like, especially in terms of our graph. Not very interesting. Oh, it is. Okay, you can see it's starting getting smoothed out because uh, it's going over itself. In this case, the space graph does not make sense. Um, let's increase c to let's say 0.5 and see what that looks like. I'm going to switch back to time, but in just a second. Okay, I'm going to keep it like that. You'll notice the energy is not constant. The energy is changing. I think that's kind of cool. It's eventually going to stop what it stopped because of time. Uh, I think this one, it's actually nicer to see in terms of time. I'm going to change this back to t, t, seconds, and then down here. T, 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 t. Okay, now let's run this. And you'll notice this energy value is indeed decreasing. Uh, everything is decreasing. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I can increase. Let's do this one more time. Um, let's put it at 1.5 drag coefficient. And eventually stop. See there, it stopped. The kinetic energy is zero. Okay. Now, the energy is not zero, right? Because there's there's gravitational potential energy and there's energy in the spring. It's still stretched. Um, but there you go. Now, what I, I, I feel like I want to make another graph, but let's see how long is this video. 12 minutes. Okay, let's do it. Let's make one of the things that you'll see is a bar graph showing these particular things. So I'm going to make a bar graph animating uh, these values. I'm going to put this back to zero since so there's no drag force. And now up here, uh, I'm going to make three new plots. I feel like I just want to change these. I'm going to change these. Yeah. So I'm going to call this, uh, in Python, there is something called GV bar. GV bar is a vertical plot. And this one's going to be GV bar. G V bar. I think I need. I don't think it has a dot. Not barred. I, this may be a disaster. I'm just letting you know because I don't normally do bar graphs. Let's turn off the dots. Dot equals. This would take that part out. Don't leave the extra comma in there. That's bad. No dots. No dots. Okay. Now, so this is going to make a bar graph. Uh, so I need to give it the horizontal value and the vertical value. And I want to animate the vertical value. I think if I do it this way, so let's just put this at uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. I, I, I don't want to change those values. I want those to be constant. And this may not work. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, I should change this to just nothing. Okay, let's run this and see what happens. No, that didn't work. GV bar. Okay, let me let me double check. Close script. Help. Work with 3D objects graphs. GV bar z. That's why. See, I make mistakes. Okay, that worked. Oh, it didn't change. Where's my inner? Oh, energy is zero. Okay, that's fine. So we can we can fix this. So I want to make these animated. So what I'm going to do is to put 
I can I can do the following data k equals a list 1k it's, it's a it's a list of just one data point and one thing and then I can do the same thing down here data ug I think this will work one or two ug data um, uk equals three and the, the one two and three is a position on the bar graph uh, uk data e equals so right there's four right four e now for the plot I'm not even gonna do that I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of all these things let's just comment them out so I'll leave them there in case you want to go back and go the other way I wouldn't really have students do this because it doesn't really give that much uh, benefit here so I'm gonna say uh, fk dot data equals data k fug dot data equals data ug fuk dot data equals data uk and fe dot data equals data e I think this will work maybe no fk what did I call it fk why did I call it capital K that's weird okay it worked okay so it doesn't look great uh, we can fix this in a number of reasons so it's going up to a maximum of let's say point point two or something so up here in my in my uh, I can do this y max equals 0 0.3 let's just see if that works I don't know if that's right yeah that didn't that didn't do it I guess I gotta do y min y min equals negative 0 0.3 I'm just playing around with the graph now and that is terrible I don't know what I did wrong uh, help Um, I'm scrolling through here. Options, radius, markers, deleting, uh, maximum, but why max? Why did it squish the thing? Why min, why max? Oh, I know why. No, I didn't. Oh, I did. I did delete that. Okay. See, now that's better. Okay, let's fix it a little bit more. Uh, one of the things we can do is uh, that thickness of the bar goes to its whole space. I can change that up here. And this, again, this doesn't matter. This is not physics. It's just for making things look nice. Delta equals 0.5. Delta equals 0.5. That means it's going to take half of its available space. Delta equals 0.5. De and again, you gotta say that. You can't think, oh, I'm just not gonna say delta. I'm not gonna say it out loud. You gotta say it out loud. Okay. And something happened. Delta. Detla. Okay. Okay, that's that's a pretty nice graph. And then you can animate it too, and you can see that it, if you put in drag, it, it decreases and stuff like that. But I mean, that, I just wanted to make an animated bar graph because I haven't done it before. Uh, and so now I learned something. Thank you very much for that. Uh, but that's that. I think, I, think, I think probably the next thing we're going to do is to go into rotational motion, but I, I have to check. Uh, but again, if, if, if this is something that you find useful, if you find something here you're not sure about, then go look at the playlist and look at a previous video. Uh, hopefully that helps. And you'll ask questions too. I do answer questions and comments um, and stuff like that. I'm not going to tell you to smash that like button because I just don't do that. If you want to like it, I think that you will like it. Uh, but there you go. We'll pick up next time. The code will be down below.